Behold, the greatest thing to ever be thawed from a sub-zero slumber. No, we don't mean caveman or wooly mammoths. We mean the delicious dinner disc known as a pizza. But what if we told you that your favorite frozen pizza brand, as easy as it is to make and eat, isn't exactly the health conscious meal you've been craving for. In this video, we'll be unveiling the unhealthy truth behind frozen pizzas, outlining everything you should be worried about. Stick around and maybe next time you'll think twice about that frozen pizza, because as delicious as it may be, it may also be your last. The process. First, we have to consider how exactly frozen pizzas are made. The process is fairly simple and quite similar to how you'd make pizza pie at home, just with the added factory processing. Every pizza starts with a good pizza dough made of water, yeast, oil, flour, corn flour, and of course salt. Salt for frozen pizzas serves two purposes, for seasoning and for rising. DiGiorno's, one of the leading innovative frozen pizza brands, adds copious amounts of salt to help give that dough the signature rise that the brand is known for. After mixing the dough through a factory processor, the dough is then shaped and cut into the discs of crust that we know and love. Then, these discs are slathered with a particular brand's sauce of choice and sprinkled with their cheese of choice. This is also the point where some brands would add their extra toppings, such as olives, bell peppers, pepperoni, and even crumbled sausage. And once the toppings have been placed, it's time to pop them in the oven. Sounds customary so far, right? Well, it wouldn't really be frozen pizza without the freezing, right? The partially cooked pizzas are then flash frozen into a puck, and voila! You got yourself a frozen pizza. All that's left is to package your pizza puck and send it out into the world for consumers to consume. Now, to consume these frozen pizzas, all manufacturers recommend that you use an oven to bake quick and easy for 15 to 25 minutes. But not every home has access to an oven. The solution? Either an air fryer or a microwave. There's no doubt that frozen pizzas are quick easy and delicious. But it's what's on the surface that's concerning. The cheese. Contrary to what your taste buds may say, no, uh, frozen pizza is not a magical dish of deliciousness. Frozen pizza is delicious, but it's also a product made by corporations to gain profit, and oftentimes the best way to gain profit is to cut cost. In this context, that means having to settle for ingredients that aren't entirely fresh, sometimes even using artificial substitutes for some of its ingredients. In fact, the United States Department of Agriculture USDA, way back then in 1983, called for standardization of pizza ingredients. Why? Because apparently, a majority of the frozen pizza brands at the time were using mostly synthetic American cheese rather than actual organic cheese. The USDA simply demanded that frozen pizzas used at least 12% real cheese instead of being fully peppered with imitation cheese. This proposed standardization caused a huge ruckus amongst dairy farmers and manufacturers. On one hand, dairy farmers celebrated the change. More real cheese means there will be a higher demand for cheese. But sadly, frozen pizza manufacturers complained and pleaded that this would entail higher manufacturing cost. And the standardization was eventually scrapped in favor of lowering cost for the product. Although imitation cheese can be consumed every day because of how common it is, the additional chemical additives mixed with the cheese are what makes it particularly dangerous. Chemicals such as titanium dioxide is used as an additive to cheese to keep the colors vibrant and enticing for customers while shielding them from further UV degradation. Of course, titanium dioxide is still considered safe for consumption by many regulatory boards. But eat one too many, and you'll find that titanium dioxide actually accumulates and causes damage to your very DNA, another cause for cancer. Now, that may be scary to hear, but what if I told you that cheese wasn't even the most potent carcinogen on frozen pizza? Processed Meats 
But cheese isn't the only problem when you're eating frozen pizza. You have to also take into account the copious amounts of processed meats. We're talking sausage crumbles, pepperonis, and even sausages. Processed meat has long been known as one of the leading carcinogens, especially for colon cancer. In fact, processed meat has been regarded as a Group 1 carcinogen by the World Health Organization, meaning that there have been confirmed links between processed meat and cancer. The reason being that processed meats often contain chemicals such as N-nitroso and heme, which are both known to break down the lining of your colon. But the toppings aren't the only thing that's affecting your health badly. The salt problem. Of course, manufacturers didn't just have to sell you on taste alone, but they had to hook you on looks first. That's why DiGiorno was such a huge hit in the first place, featuring the first ever pizza crust that actually rose as you baked it. Before DiGiorno's rising crust, pizzas were basically Italian quesadillas with extra steps. But thankfully, DiGiorno stepped up and set the bar for any frozen pizza brand looking to challenge them for the throne. But now you have to ask yourself, what exactly did DiGiorno change about the dough recipe to have it rise like that? The answer is copious amounts of baking soda which skyrocketed the pizza's sodium levels to almost the daily recommended intake for sodium, something that definitely tastes good right now, but is sure to bite back at you in the long run. Now, yes, rising crusts are delicious and all, but it takes more than just a rising crust to hook a consumer. Preservatives Frozen pizzas have the upper hand on actual pizzas when it comes to longevity. While most freshly cooked pizzas are stale a day after, frozen pizzas can last as long as 18 months with proper storage, which is why most people can just conveniently store a surplus of frozen pizzas at home and then bake one whenever they crave a hot slice. But this prolonged shelf life doesn't happen by magic, nor is it because of the flash freeze method. Frozen pizzas add a multitude of chemical preservatives to keep their pizza tasting fresh and looking fresh. Some frozen pizza brands use chemicals such as tertiary butyl hydroquinone, or TVHQ for short, as a preservative for most processed foods. TBHQ acts as an antioxidant for many fresh produce products, including pizza, which is worrisome, especially considering how this additive was tested and proven to cause various adverse effects, ranging from liver enlargement to tumor growth in animal testing. The FDA has even gone on to put down rules and regulations regarding the use of this popular preservative, emphasizing that only 0.02% of these harmful preservatives should be found within particular food products, which is extremely concerning if you consider the consumers who go through more than one frozen pizza in a week. But really, shouldn't there be a better alternative by now? Thankfully, some frozen pizza brands have asked themselves the same question, healthier pizza future. Most of the forward-thinking brands in the frozen pizza market have now gone on to address the health problems of their frozen pizzas, acknowledging that maybe there are healthier alternatives to utilize when it comes to ingredients. And consumers have gone out to show full support, supporting healthy renditions of these frozen pizzas even with the higher price point. Some of the modifications include replacing the calorie and sodium-dense pizza dough for a frozen sheet of cauliflower filled with all the fiber without the heavy carbs. Now, you might be thinking, cauliflower? Ooh, but you'd be wrong. The pizza is actually really delicious, crispy, and dare I say fresh. Famous frozen pizza brands have also gone on to produce pizzas that cater to those with dietary restrictions, some featuring gluten-free dough and others even featuring plant-based meat. Some brands have also done away with chemical preservatives, instead opting for more natural preservatives such as rosemary oil, which not only helps extend the shelf life of frozen pizzas, but also adds a bit of an herby flavor to the pizza itself. Truly, the future of frozen pizzas is on the right track. Admittedly though, most of the reasons that frozen pizza is unhealthy can also be said for pizza itself, 
So maybe the next time you find yourself craving for a pizza, either stick to a single slice or at least order takeout instead to save yourself from nasty chemical preservatives. So what did you think? Thinking twice about your dietary decisions now? If not, maybe you got the secret link to some healthier choice frozen pizza? Tell us what you think in the comments down below.